Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and what to expect in the week ahead, plus the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you've been thinking about unlocking some unique research tools to help stay ahead of these volatile times, make sure you head over to tipranks.com. You can now pay for the premium and ultimate subscriptions on a monthly basis too. Links will be in the description and comments down below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. It looks like we'll be starting the week off in the green. U.S. stock futures are all currently up. Dow futures up 1.12%, S&P 500 futures up 1.21%, and NASDAQ futures up 1.09%. Shares of VMware are surging after it was reported that Broadcom might be interested in buying them. It is said that the two companies are negotiating a deal. As of close Friday, VMware was valued at about $40 billion. A deal would triple the size of Broadcom's software business. VMware software allows businesses to mix public cloud services like those offered by Amazon with their own networks. Wells Fargo analysts said that we believe an acquisition of VMware would be considered as making strategic sense, consistent with Broadcom's focus on building out a deepening enterprise infrastructure software strategy. The VMware stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 44%. And NVIDIA, who is set to report their earnings mid this week, did announce that they have slowed their pace of hiring. A NVIDIA spokesperson said in a statement that we've been extremely successful in hiring this year. We're slowing for now to integrate these new employees and focus our budget on taking care of existing employees as inflation persists. An internal message read, this is not a freeze, it's a pause. Hiring continues. We were told that leadership wants to take a pause to onboard the thousands of new hires we've recently made. This makes NVIDIA the latest tech company to take a look at their operating budget and look at cutting back for the foreseeable future. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 88%. Not a lot of other big headlines this morning yet, so let's move right along to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Zoom Video Communications and Advanced Auto Parts. Later in the week, we'll be hearing from other big names like NVIDIA, Best Buy, Snowflake, Dollar Tree and Dollar General, and Costco Wholesale. There will also be a handful of notable investor days. This includes JP Morgan Chase, Chevron, Meta Platforms, Twitter, and United Airlines. In the pre-market this morning, we heard from Chinese electric vehicle maker Xpeng. They posted a narrower than expected loss, but did miss on guidance. Xpeng reported a loss of $0.28 cents per share from $1.2 billion in sales. Analysts had expected a loss of $0.30 cents per share on sales of $1.1 billion. Their second quarter sales are expected to be about $1.1 billion, whereas the street was expecting about $1.2 billion in sales. Their first quarter gross profit margins also came in a bit low at 12.2% when analysts were expecting 12.7%. The stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 94%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by VMware on the news that Broadcom may be interested in purchasing them. Under the ticker VMW, the stock is currently up nearly 22%. They're followed by Forge Global Holdings under FRGE up 6.15% and Compass under COMP up just over 6%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Lattice Semiconductor after their CEO sold 30,000 shares. Under the ticker LSCC, the stock is down about 5%. They're followed by Broadcom under AVGO, down 4.8%, and Cousins Properties under CUZ, down 4.22%. 
So that is going to be everything for Monday morning's pre-market update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.